Hey guys, it's Stacy with Misguided Road Trips and we are in Mississippi on our way to Arkansas. We saw this church and I wanted to stop. It's called um, Holly Grove MB Church. I'm not really sure what the MB is for, but it looks like it's kind of fell in. I don't know if there was a storm that came through. I'm not sure you can see. inside there how bad a shape it's in I'm not gonna go in but we can go around the sides now Carmen if you are watching this this is the one where I was talking to you and we stopped and had to film and I told you I had to go this is the one I saw that I thought was pretty unique I don't know if y'all can tell how bowed out the sides of this church is I'm gonna get down here there's Diane she's already in the cemetery it's really a small cemetery it's a small church I'm gonna come down this way and then go back and show y'all how bowed out the sides are look at that hopefully you can tell that's crazy vines growing all over the top and there's a house over here. I'm not sure if maybe that's where the preacher might have lived. And I don't know if we can get in there. But I'd like to try. See, I'm brave enough, but I have Cliff with me. And Cliff isn't brave enough. <laughs> it's a very small cemetery, though. There's just a few graves. I have no idea how old these graves are or anything. Huh? Oh, there are unmarked. Yeah. Yeah, this is graves. And over here, if you come back this way, you'll see more. That's sad. Yeah. Oh, yep. I don't know if y'all can tell, but you can see where the graves are. Back up behind that tree, there's no stones. Wow. Yeah, there's, um, that's sad because you don't know if. This is a grave, that's a grave, that's a grave right here. They're turned every which way, too. If you look like Over this there. one's facing this way. That one's facing that way. Yep, those that one's facing, facing that, that one. All those that's, are facing the other way. Facing this way. Yeah, and then these down here are facing this way. But these we don't even know which way they're facing. No, nope, we don't. And look back this way. Those there's one, two, three right there. Yep. At least. Looks like there's one over and there one maybe. Right yeah, and there's one here. That might be one over there. Yep. That almost looks like one facing that way, or laying that way. Yeah, it does. And this right here. That's weird. I haven't seen the dates on them. Have you seen the dates on any of them? Okay. See, I don't know here if this is a grave or not. Yeah, this right here. Okay, I just don't, I don't like walking on graves. I'm. See, that's the head, and your that picture's right there. Oh, 1967, 1993. So they're not old, because there's one 2004. Right over there, that's the head of the grave they took the flowers. There's another one right there. Wow. This way, I think. Might be. Yeah, there was another one right there. They are just laid every which way out here. They are just laid every which way out here. This looks like that's one that way. I'm sure there's another one here. Yeah, it does. And I might be standing on another one here. I don't know. This is kind of weird. I don't know. Look at this. There's three graves back to back. So this one must face this way. That's a child's grave. This has got to be a baby. 
That's a little bud. Yep. It's a little flower that was given to us. That's a baby's grape. Yep. This face is that way. This face is that way. That one faces that way. And then. Yeah, that was a baby. And then. And the church. Look at the walls going outward. I know. The walls being bowed out is weird. The organ's still inside the church. Is it? Look into that wall over there and you'll see the organ. There's another grave. See how the walls are? They're just bowed out. Bad. Look, the chimneys fell off. No, I didn't come up this way. Yep, there's the organ. Still in there. Wow. I don't know. I'm, I'll walk over there and see. Beans out here. <laughs> oh, something up those. Oh, I know what those are. Makes that noise. The tree. They shake and rattle. They're all over the ground. Everywhere. I don't know if I can get into this house, y'all. It's um not looking like it's too sturdy. If there's anybody out here with us that wishes to speak to us, you can. You can talk to us through my camera. And I can hear you when I get home. Somebody's cut the grass, but... can't really get up to the window. I don't know. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know about any doors. It looks like it's filled full of stuff. I have a very uneasy feeling about this house, guys. I don't... I don't know something saying not to go in there, even though I really want to. Something is telling me that it may not be a good idea. It's a beautiful lot though. Wow. This might be one of the reasons why a room paint 
Christmas tree. Old desk it's sitting on. Looks like somebody just left it. If y'all can see inside, the ceilings all fell in. Baby's teddy bears in there. The door is open. Hello, anybody home? Oh yeah, I'm not walking in there. No. That is probably why I got the feeling that I shouldn't be in there. Look at the holes in the floor. Yeah. Baby's teddy bear cookie monster. This house is old. And I don't trust it. Don't trust it. This doesn't seem like it would be the safest to go into. So I am going to head back over to the cemetery and we will see about doing the spirit box. See if we get any um, voices to come through. Anybody wanting to come through? Kind of see from here what the church looks like. Let's see Cliff over there by the truck too, but it's crazy how it's falling in so bad. This makes you wonder if there's a storm that came through. Well, let's walk over here. We didn't get the back section of the cemetery. We'll see. I thought I saw a tombstone back there, but I don't know for sure. We'll walk back there and see if that's a tombstone. It might just be trash. Yeah, I think it is. It's a chance to listen to some voices. Yeah, that's just trash back there. Okay, we'll come back around here and we'll do the spirit box. These don't appear to be very old, so not that it matters. There are, these over here look old, but the young wish to talk just as much as the olders do, so let's see. I'm going to sit y'all down for a minute while I get my um, spirit box out. And y'all can face out that way, see if you see anything. There. Put my spirit box in that other bag. Okay guys, I moved from the cemetery because I left my speaker box in the truck and I came over here to the church because we can't really figure out what happened. The whole ceiling has fell in 
and the sides are bowed out and we can't think of anything that would have probably caused this unless these sides up here were really weak um, yeah both sides is kind of weird Diane said somebody came to church that hadn't been in a long time and the roof fell in on them so <laughs> anyway we are going to do the spirit box now. Maybe we can find something out. Y'all keep your eyes open, your ears open, and see if you see anything. <laughs> okay, if there's any spirits out here who wish to talk to us, you can talk into this little black box. I'll be able to hear you. Is there anyone here? You want to talk? You do? My name's Stacy. Can you say my name so I know that you're able to hear me? Are you buried out here? Do you know what happened to the church? Can you tell me? Was it a natural disaster or something else? What is your name? Was anyone hurt when this happened to the church? Was the church empty? Was it the pastor's fault? Whatever happened? Why are you still here? What happened to the pastor? Was the pastor married? Where's his family? Do 
getting moved. Y'all watch the woods, Diane saw a light come on and go out, out there. Is there anyone in the woods watching us? Are we in danger? Should we leave? Sound like no. On that one, in the danger. If we are in danger, will you let us know? Church moved to a different area. I just saw that light again. It was right back in the middle behind those two. Cut this box off. Thank you for talking to us. I'll go home and listen to this. I do appreciate that you're willing to talk to us, but you cannot follow us home. You cannot follow us anywhere. You have to stay here in God's name. Thank you. That looks like a face right there, straight ahead. Yeah, I that's, that light flash twice. Yeah, I've seen it once. That's kind of creepy, guys. So we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Um, we do know, we don't know where we're at, really, but we've been keeping up with it on MapQuest and stuff and reading different stories. And um, this place has got a lot of people who hunt out here. And I just don't trust when I'm out here, people are hunting somebody with a gun that I don't know. It's kind of scary. So, you never know what their intentions are. You never know. So, anyway, I appreciate you watching the video. I love each and every one of you. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share. Do all that YouTube stuff, guys. Alright, much love. Bye. Okay guys, we are really close, like right through those woods over there was the church, the Holly Grove Church that we stopped at where the sides were bowed out and now there is another church that the windows are busted up, especially on the other side. The paint's coming off the steeple. We're going to go into the church and see what we can find in there. This church is in Mississippi, so we're making it on our road trip to Arkansas. We're just 
googling stories of different places and finding those places and looking to see what the rest of the story is behind these places. Now, I did not find a name of this church. Like a pulpit. So I'm not really sure I do know that there's yellow jackets in here. Oh, wow. There's hymnals. This was a little kitchen area. The Methodist hymnal. So this was a Methodist church. These are the hymnals. And it's different from the Baptist hymnal because I seem to remember page 78 was the old rugged cross. I may be wrong, but it seems like when I was a little girl that was the I love the song, The Old Rugged Cross, and seems like it was on page 78 in the hymnals that our church used. Some work and some don't. There's another one. Wow, the ceiling falling down, the pulpit area, I'm scared to walk too far in because Cliff said there was yellow jackets everywhere in the front section, tell it was an old church. windows, stained glass windows, but these over here broke out. That's the side we came in on and they aren't broke quite like this. There's another piano over there. Hmm. If there's anyone in here who would like to speak to us, you're more than welcome to speak into my camera. See if we can hear you. If I can't hear you now, I may be able to hear you when I get home. This makes me sad. makes me sad because there's so many good memories in a church and then as time goes by and people quit coming to this church and it moves or whatever it grows bigger they need a bigger church whatever the case is this gets left behind and the memories get left behind with it time passes by and people are forgotten We'll go look at it at the graves and see what is out here. It's a lot bigger than the other cemetery we were at. There are still some fresh graves. They look like they're not very old graves. Still mounds of dirt and no toppers on them. No concrete slabs or I don't know how long they've been buried. Yeah, this one. Dennis Rayford died 328, 2015, age 48. That name sounds so familiar to me.
Dave Rayford, 86. That might be his daddy. And this one. To be careful because the ground is falling in on this. Over here's the note, but it doesn't have the name on it. It's I don't know, I can't read that one. Sammy Ray for 2003. Yeah, this cemetery needs somebody to come out and take care of it too. The graves are, the flowers and stuff are thrown just everywhere. There's another big hole where it looks like a tortoise or something. Nineteen ninety-two. God's care. Nineteen eighty-two. Nineteen eighty-two. Oh wow! Amy Lancaster, eighty to eighty-two. April Lancaster, seventy-nine to eighty-two. Oh, poor mama. Poor mama. Mother, Molly Lancaster. That can't be. But that's the grandma. That's so sad. Some of these are really beautiful tombstones. Look at the one in color with the angel. Got their picture. Some really nice tributes to their family members. Aunt Molly, Sabrina, known as Sub. Wow. I feel a very heavy sadness out here. And I've never labeled myself as an empath, but I do have strong emotional bonds with places that I go. And a while ago, when we went to the um, other church that's just down the road, I can't remember, Molly Grove, I think, that house gave me a really bad feeling to the point I wouldn't go in. This is giving me sadness that I can't explain. Flags on the ground, flowers on the ground, tombstones broken, graves toppling in. It's just a very sad cemetery. Look at these beautiful flowers. They stand out. Somebody misses their child, their wife, mother, a lot. You walk down here and this tombstone's toppled over. You can't lift these back up, they're so heavy. Beloved father. Beloved father, Jimmy Cotton, James Cotton. Wow. It's another one that looks like he was just buried. Or she. Darnell Cotton, U.S. Army, Vietnam. He fought in the Vietnam War. Thank you for your service, kind gentlemen. I guess these are pretty because they're artificial flowers. Because the live ones have died. Yep. August the 2nd. 
2018 Sherry Beals. It's it's sad. I just look at this place and I think it was probably a really fun place at one time. This grape's 1919. So some of them are older by themselves. Some of them are a lot of bit older and some of them aren't old at all. This one looks like the tombstone fell forward and they just left it. Over here's another one that's fallen. Two of them. Hmm. 1871. It's a reverend. I don't know if he might have been a reverend here, but he was a reverend. He also should be thanked for giving his life to God and preaching about God, teaching others. That's awesome. 1875 to 1940. Look, they're over there standing at the truck, chit-chatting, waiting on me to finish filming the video so we can get back on the road again. Diana was picking up pecans out here. And we've been playing the game of what's the crop, trying to guess what they have planted because there's so much farmlands out here. So far, we have seen a lot of um, rice fields and cotton planted. So, I think that that is rice fields over there. As you can see, kind of like the water on the other side. This, I'm not so sure about. I can't tell. I am so glad that y'all come along with me for this road trip. It's been fun. I hope y'all feel like you're here. I hope you're enjoying seeing the different states and all the neat stuff we've encountered so far. Some is scary, some not so scary, but it's interesting just seeing what the United States looks like around here. So I hope that y'all have enjoyed it. I'm glad y'all have come along with me. Please hit the subscribe, the share, the like, all that YouTube stuff. Just do all that YouTube stuff. All right, guys. Well, I will see you later. That concludes it for now. But who knows? A mile down the road, I may see you again. <laughs> all right, guys. Love you. Bye.